Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome back to Bunker. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, made our way further deeper into the bunker, got past this dog, and uh, we were able to get a staff. It's only a staff. However, when we picked up the staff, it pointed us toward the um, cafeteria lady. So that is where I'm going to be headed. Need to be able to get into the room where the guard is, but I think I need to set off the alarm before I can do that. Unfortunately, um, the alarm is broken, and I need to get a fuse and some wires before I can do anything there. Alright, what do we got here? It says staff, staff only, it's a staff. Oh, come on, seriously? Come on, let me in. Holy whack-a-mole, it fits. And unlocks the door. Well, let's see what's in there. Uh, some kind of a radioactive carrot, but... There's no lamp. And it doesn't have a bulb in it, it looks like, and I don't have a bulb. Alright, one second, let's find the bulb. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Uh, no, there's not one down there. There's nothing down there but a valve. There's nothing in here. Oh, we got a light. I don't think maybe I picked that up before. I wonder why I didn't have it. Alright, so we have a light bulb. Put the light bulb in here. Uh, turn it on. Yes! Act Ooh. That's not nice. Okay, uh, let's grab this radioactive carrot. Okay, let's grab uh, this monkey wrench. Anything else in here? Does not look like it. Alright. Radioactive carrot looks like it potentially could help me get through uh, and get this alarm up and running because it is the same, roughly the same shape as the fuses that are in the fuse box over here. So let's take a look. Yeah, and it's radioactive, so I'm going to assume that you can do this. Exactly. Okay, great. And can I use the wrench to fix the wires? I can. Great. Alright, so that should work now. Let's, uh, let's test it out. Alright, excellent. Don't have a whole lot of time. I think he's going to come back sometime soon. What are you walking all the way over there for? Alright, so here's the key. He is, it's on a chain. Okay, uh, do th this. Okay, good. Now get out of here. Excellent. Alright, so now we've got the key and a uh, mold of it. So I'm assuming we can actually put this thing in here like this. Uh, something's wrong. Hold on a second. Okay, I am back, and it looks like my game... I don't know, it crashed, it did something. But it should be back up and running now. Let's go ahead and put this there. Now we should be able to get the key and cross our fingers that we don't... There we go. Alright, that's one way to burn money. Okay, so we have a key now. 
have a key that looks like it gets through that main door there. But I have a feeling that I need to get... I need to get that gas mask before I can get through here. But uh, let's just make sure that there's nothing else that I need to get. Come on. Alright, don't have a whole lot of time. Maybe I can move the camera? Let's take a look at the camera things here. Alright, uh, lock. Password, no. Uh, da da da, C C C B. Crap. Oh, oh crap. Okay. I'll get this. My guess is this guy's not too smart. He probably leaves the uh, password written on the side of the computer. I've done enough tech support to know that's that's the most obvious place for us to be. Come on. You don't have to walk weird. Okay. Uh... Security monitors. Here we go. Alright, broke the power button. Alright. Alright, so it looks like I can actually get past now because I broke... I broke the, uh... The monitor. And he's not smart enough to switch to a different monitor. All right, open the door. I don't know. There's no freaking way I'm stepping into that room. Not without a gas mask. All right, I figured that was what was needed to happen. But, um... All right. Let's go check to see if there's anything else that we missed. Something is up. Oh, it says red rum. Okay. It's a shining reference. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was something... I was missing some kind of weird clue that was uh, popping up on the wall every time the light flashed, but no. No, it was just making a Stephen King reference. Alright. So, what I basically did was I used the monkey wrench on the tank to get one of the tank treads, which I'm thinking is going to be enough for me to get that gas mask, so that's where we're going to be headed back to now. Uh, it is quite a bit of walking. Imagine that once I know what the uh, how to get through each thing, it, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm through with most of these rooms, to, uh, as far as I can tell. So we're going to go and get the gas masks, and then we're going to uh, call this episode complete. Alright, hopefully this is the way it works. Does this work? Does indeed. Alright, use the winch. And then, boom. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Go ahead and take a gas mask. Alright, we have a gas mask. Alright, we're going to head through this radioactive room. That's going to have to wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this may be a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, I did have to go around and do a lot of, you know, movement back and forth. Trying to find uh, the exact item that needed to be clicked on. So, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.